Okay, this is a crosscut of Junipera virginiana. It grew on a uh, bluff, so it got the uh, coldest part of the winter and the uh, driest part of the uh, summer. And um, it is a juniper, so it is a that's not the worst habitat in the world for a juniper. But um, you can see it starts off fairly large growth rings, and then they become denser as the as there's more competition, and then they get bigger. This is probably standing um, straight up and down. Uh, sometimes the um, growth rings will become larger as. Uh, it leans away from that direction, so it wants to stay stable. But anyway, this is a, um, a early successional species. Uh, it does its thing. It has a lifespan, and as the forest matures and oaks and uh, um, hickories come in, these, these die out. So the Forest Service was removing these, and um, uh, so that the forest can be conti can continue and then actually they can do a fire um, on the forest floor and these will just catch fire like a uh, torch um, and they do definitely when you walk around the forests of uh, Illinois you'll see they're, they're um, dying usually in any sort of cover they're, they want full sun but um, Anyway, you can see that despite the fact that it's a juniper, the middle part was rotting out, and these are all uh, phenolics that are basically protecting the hardwood, and then there's less phenolics here, um, and so of course the cambrium layer is there, and this is the, the phloem, and this is the xylem, all that's the xylem, so the phloem gets crushed, so the xylem draws um, water up and nutrients up and the flow um, uh, channels it down into the to the branches and the leaves and whatnot um, um, so but anyway that's a nice uh, cross section you can see there's a lot of interesting things going on um, there's a couple of good years and some bad years and all that so there's a lot of a lot of things I'm not sure if how well that shows but anyway it's a lovely a lovely cedar.